Hey, welcome back to another exciting episode of Let's Play Pokemon Sapphire. Uh, what have we got to do today? That's right, the second gym. We're going to be going up against Brawly, who is the fighting type gym leader. And I believe I mentioned that to you once before. Our Pokemon team consists of Phantasm, the Wingle, who has his flying type move, Wing Attack, which looks like it should be able to do some very good damage against the fighting types, assuming he doesn't die. We have Mikale, the Combuskin, who still has great moves, who has Peck, which is probably capable of doing almost as much damage as Double Kick if I need it to. Um, Mikale has, of course, incredible stats, as always. We have Genko the Zigzagoon, who is a normal type, which means if I send him into any of these matches, he will be destroyed instantly, so I will try to avoid doing that. And finally, we have Aflin the Gulpin, who I'm not using because he's illegitimate. And, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll deal with that later. Okay, so, um, I didn't talk to this guy in the last gym, but here's what he says to you. He gives you some advice on how you can defeat the gym leader. As you can see, he, he informs you that fighting types destroy normal types. Um, it's, it's true. You should believe it, because it's true. Alright. Something else about Dark as the Ocean Floor keeps coming up for some reason. So, I think I remember who the first trainer here is, and what Pokemon the first trainer here uses. And if I'm correct about this... Then I want to use Mikale because it's one of the Pokemon that sort of scares me in this gym. There are a couple. There are a couple trainers here who use Pokemon that are kind of difficult. They are at least all fighting type, or I think they're mostly all fighting types. But let's see what happens. All right, I'm a lot less scared about this one than I was about the uh, uh, Roxanne's gym. I think my Pokemon are at a pretty decent level for handling this gym without too much trouble. So here we have Peck, which as you can see is super effective and does very good damage to Metatite. See, this is a fighting slash psychic type Pokemon, which means... Suddenly this is a whole lot scarier than it was a minute ago. Forget what I said. I'm terrified now. Meditate's a part psychic type Pokemon. I knew that going in. I thought Peck would be a one hit KO. I was incorrect. So. Now, now I just have to do it. I don't think there are a lot of trainers in this gym, but I have to battle them all. As you can see, the gym's going to get slightly lighter every time I defeat a trainer. So, yep, this is just a Machop. Hopefully it's not too scary of a Machop. Hopefully it is a Machop that I can defeat with a couple of wing attacks. Okay, it looks good. Yes, low kick. That's not the worst move it could have used. And there we go, a two-hit KO. That's not that bad. Could have been worse, right? Defeated Black Belt Hideki. And the gym is slightly lighter. And... Is that it? I don't think that's it. There's gotta be one more. Yep. Here we go. One more trainer. To freak me out. Meditite is terrifying to me, because as you can see, it does a lot of good damage. But, luckily, it's also not the uh, strongest Pokemon in the world. And here we see it using Bide, which is a move that you may remember from the C-Dots. But, luckily, Meditite is at... Now we're at the level where I have Pokemon that can deal good damage to these Pokemon, making a Bide a less effective way of defeating me. A less than effective way of defeating me, at any rate. And now it's using Detect, which is this move that blocks all moves from hitting it in the turn immediately after Detect is used. It's just sort of a momentary annoyance. It actually won't do anything besides waste one of my power points, which is, you know, annoying, but... And this is Meditate, which raises its attack one stage. It's exactly the sort of thing that would be terrifying if I were terrified by that sort of thing, but I'm not. Okay. And see, it keeps just trying to stall out my power points to make it more difficult for me going into the going into the actual leader himself. But see, it doesn't work every time. It work if you use it only once, it'll definitely work. But after every successive time that you attempt to use a move like detect, its accuracy is cut in half. 
So its propensity as a stall, its uh, ability as a stalling move is not fantastic. Anyway, it looks like I'm down to five wing attacks on Phantasm, which means this may need to be Mikolay's gym. That's quite a thought. Okay, I think that's all the trainers, with the exception of the gym leader, Brawly. So, here's the leader. Um, he's going to use a bunch of Fighting-type Pokemon on me. And I'm going to have to um, hope that this works. Can't think, you just have to do. Oh, that was a terrible idea. Why would I say something like that? Of course you have to think. Why would you not think? You just have to do. Here's hoping that that bit of screw-up with the uh, Metatite isn't going to cost me in an enormous way. Okay. Start with Double Kick. It's the strongest move you've got. It's the closest to a one-hit KO you're going to be able to get down, and hope it uses something that's not exactly that. So, this is the question, isn't it? If I leave Mikolay in for one more hit, that's the end of my starter. Obviously, I can't afford for this to happen. So I'm going to have to switch out. But to Phantasm or Ginkgo? If I switch to Ginkgo, that's suicide for Ginkgo. But if I switch to Phantasm, then that could be suicide for Phantasm. I didn't have to do this until Watson last time, but I don't think there's a way around this. Unless... But the thing is, none of Phantasm's moves will really do good damage against, against uh, Makuhita anyways. I'm a monster. And I've done this before. This is always what happens to my Zigzagoons. I've done this before. It's going to keep using those moves until it's strong enough to destroy any of my Pokemon. I'm just going to keep hoping. And praying for flinches, I guess. And it, it had to be done. One of my first Pokemon is now dead on the ground, and it had to be done. Yes, I beat the gym leader, but at what terrible cost. Nothing left to say. I mean, great. There was no way around that, really. If I had switched to Phantasm, the same thing would have happened. Ginkgo was entirely responsible for defeating Brawly. If it hadn't been for those flinches, I would have lost. That flinch critical hit? Ginkgo was the reason that I survived. But... Only in death. It's horrible. Because there was nothing that I could have done. I don't think so. Bulk up, that's the fighting type move you saw earlier. Focus energy is clearly never going to be applicable. It's possible that this move will be. Oh god, I can't look at him. It 
Gym leader's fully illuminated. Not that I care. Back here we have... He says something different now. Your future is bright. Without Ginkgo? I'm not so sure. This has been Let's Play Pokemon Sapphire. Oh god, what have I done?